want to thank our sponsor here from Hawkeye of the Storm, Under the Kitchen. Randy Engel has been with us through it all. We appreciate Randy and his awesome artwork down in Des Moines. Check it out if you haven't already done so. Visit Under the Kitchen on Facebook, or you can also visit his new website. It's underthekitchen.square.site. This is a way you can support NIL and the Iowa Athletes Plus. You're supporting this show and a small business down in Mitchellville. Again, that's underthekitchen.square.site. Dot site. Thank you to Randy Engel at Under the Kitchen in Mitchellville. Because basically the next game, we all know we need to shoot lights out from three. We need we need yep. Gabby to have like three threes. We need Kate to have three threes. We need uh, Caitlin to have like six plus threes, yeah. you know. Uh, and we need uh, 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 Hannah to like get back in transition like four to six times and we just need to burn them that way. Like that's the only way we got a chance. But, uh, and that's my next question is just, uh, and I haven't been watching the whole show. I'm sorry. I've been watching ESPN and BTN and stuff, but like, so what is the game plan? Like, are, are we, are we going to go two bigs at some point? And then my other thought is, uh, you know, like, do we, do we just throw in like AJ in there as a second big sometimes uh, funny Thank enough, you. I think O'Grady can hold her own against Cardosa. She doesn't have post moves. She's just trying to get as low as she can and shoot over you. And we saw in the LSU game that Addison is pretty strong. And so for me, it's just the fact that I think she'll be able to hold her own. I don't think we need to resort to hacking her to keep her from from scoring i don't think so honestly i think she can hold her her own hannah's gonna have an issue that's that's definite i do not think they're gonna play two post players we done made it to the national championship game not playing two post players i highly doubt they're gonna start now so although it would make sense i doubt it (laughs) that's just it's just not gonna happen they're gonna roll with what they've been doing so i just don't think that we're gonna do that Corey. Yeah, I mean, uh, based on reputation and history with this coaching staff and how Lisa Bluter handles her rotations, um, they've had other matchups where you could have seen them play multiple bigs. I thought that there maybe was opportunity against LSU to get mm-hmm. Hansel and Addison O'Grady on the floor at the same time. I think that'd be the more logical one to have them on the floor at the same time. Addison's not logging enough minutes where that would be too much of a concern. Now, granted, you'd like to give Hannah a breather at some point, so you insert Addison in for her. But no, I I'd, I would be surprised if we see AJ Ediger, unless there's foul trouble, and there could be foul trouble. Maybe we'll see Ediger. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll see Sharon Goodman. I mean, if there's foul trouble, they could go a lot deeper than they have. But ideally, right. uh, ideally, it's the opposite. And hopefully, uh, I don't know how much Camilla Cardosa is prone to fouling or bu- buying in on pump fakes. Mm-hmm. I know Hannah Stolke is not one to uh, fake a lot, shot fake a lot, um, but she has she has gotten better, I think, at drawing fouls. I thought there were some fouls. We talk about officiating. There were some fouls that weren't called. Wondering uh, what you think would, uh, like, say three, three things, Cash, that uh, we're going to have to do as a team to win the championship game against South Carolina. Top three keys. That's no, a good I, was, I was I was dreading this this that question. I really was this whole podcast. Well, <laughs> I just went. I wanted to pick you up. <laughs> um, we have to make as a team. Yep, I think we need to be over double digits in threes. Who that uh-huh. comes from? I don't care. But we gotta we gotta make at least ten. Um, I think that oh god, we have to limit their paint points. Okay. Um, I know that they they can shoot the three this year than they are la- than they did last year. I'm I understand. That. I, I do. Um, but I do think that we have to limit their 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 paint points. How? Yes. If you're not, you told us on the last show that if Iowa play South Carolina the way they did 
last year, they're going to get beat mm-hmm. by 50. So I, and I agree with that. Because you can't play. There's no that you can play like that. How can you compete against the size of this team if you don't pack the paint? Everybody there. Hey, four other teams did. So <laughs> at the end of the day, you can still limit people and be able to guard the three-point line. Now, again, they're not in your face three-point shooters. They're not Caitlin Clarks. They are Kate Martins. They are Gabby Marshalls. They are those kinds where, like, if you leave them wide the hell open, then, yeah, they're going to shoot it. But you can still have activity. You can still figure out where you're going to trap from and rotate out of it. Okay. Kasheen show again. Um, <laughs> um, are you still there, caller? Yeah. Yeah, I'm still okay. there. Okay. Um, so anyway, sorry. You can still rotate out of the trap. You can still guard but you still have to limit those paint points because they do very well with getting in the paint and kicking out. Those are great threes. If we can force them into taking bad threes, I'm good with that. But you still have to own the paint or at least limit their paint. That's that's my point. Right, yeah, because, I mean, you know, just yeah. getting it into Cardozo and just letting her, you know, yeah, touch we can't the glass. We can't, we can't do that all night long. So no, no. nor can we play Caitlin Clark in the middle of the paint and not leave it. We can't do that either. Right. So there's got to be a mix somewhere in there. Yeah, well, let's hope looter has got it figured out because I sure as heck don't. I'm sure they've been watching the games that they've played close. You know, the Indiana game, considering we know Indiana really well. I, I know they've watched the um, the Oregon State game really tough um, because at the end of the day, they figured it out of way. So to yeah. even get close. Appreciate you calling. What was the three? What was the third key? You said uh, 10 plus three point field goals for Iowa limit paint points. What was the third key? Kashin? A run. Oh, I was wondering if you were going to say that. That was the yeah, key for the game tonight. And in general, Iowa did not do it. Well, if you notice, you kind of did a very, very good job. They did not crash anybody but their post players. Not a single person. They took Caitlin, I'm mean, not Caitlin. Nika was standing at the the like I guess top of the key waiting for Caitlin Clark. Paige Beckers and KK got their butts back. They did not look for offensive rebounds. If Aaliyah Edwards didn't get the offensive rebound, it was over with. And they were like, we're gonna get back, we're gonna disrupt their offense that way. So I mean, technically, can South South Carolina do that? Yeah, because they got six seven down there. She could get all the rebounds she wants. You know what I mean? So it's possible, but it still needs to be an emphasis because Cardoza still got to run with us. 